it is. We are live. What is up, guys? Check it out. Here in just a second, we'll get the notification that Trap My Ride is live. And that's right. We have Melvin. Where is he at back there? We've got Melvin, DJ with us from O'Reilly. Another shout out to them. They're letting us come hang out and play a little bit again today. Uh, we got this Camaro, guys. And this thing is freaking awesome. Melvin has some more stuff done to it over the winter. There's the notification. Trap My Ride is live. Uh, he has some things done to it over the winter. Um, I think some of them are like uh, carbon fiber axles and drive shafts and like stuff under the hood and a whole bag of goodies. But I'm not that good at telling you about it. Melvin, he really knows all the details, so we're going to get this flipped around and uh, we're going to let him tell you all about it. There we go. How are you today, Melvin? Thank you for bringing it out and showing us. DJ, thanks for joining us, man. Appreciate it. Uh, so you got some things done over the winter. You uh, you want to show us what you had done and maybe give an overview of what you already had done for the people who haven't seen it? Beautiful, guys. Absolutely beautiful car. You see this? I love this blue. Stunning, stunning. To me, by far, this is my favorite car in the whole area. It really is. And it's a Chevy, so of course, it's all right. Melvin, he's got it ready for us. So what all we got done here today, Melvin? Well, recently, um, we swapped out the P1X for an E1X. Kept the same pulleys. So the 18 PSI. On the Pro Charger here? Yes, and we added the uh, the Pro Charger uh, relief valve. This is the race valve. And we have Lingenfelter two step. Lingenfelter two step, boys right and girls. Here. Check that out. He's got it in there. See it? There it is. Uh, what does the two step do? You want to explain that to people? It, they wire it into all the electronics for the uh, spark plugs. Mm -hmm. And they put that, the button is on the brake. When you press down, it short circuits the system. I have, also have a toggle switch that turns it on and off. And it short circuits the system where you rump it to the floor while you're holding the brake and it, you can set whatever launch RPM that you want and take your foot off the brake and away you go. That is awesome. That's a great piece of technology. So it really helps this thing get off the line a little quicker than really uh, helps get the power out to the wheels more precise where you need it to be. Yes, and it's uh, a lot quicker than the build in launch control that Chevy has in the, in the system. Oh, I remember that. I think last fall we checked that out a little bit. A, quite a few steps to get in there and mm -hmm. set it. And this one, you just flip the switch, hold the brake, stomp the pedal, and where you go. Yeah, that's what we like. It's quick, isn't it? So, what else is new? Uh, we added. Um, carbon fiber drive shaft. Nice. And, um, 1400 horsepower axles. Woo, wow. And drive shaft safety loop. Drive shaft that, safety loop? Yes, that was back in, in the fall early. Actually, maybe February. What does that do? The safety loop, if you break the drive shaft, it keeps it. Oh, falling out. Uh, falling out and flying around and getting somebody or tearing the out of the car. Well, that's good. That's well, nice to have on there. Like a pole ball. Ah, oh, I see, I see. Yeah, that's real good. Uh, you have a hood sitting ready for it too, huh? I do have. A, it's a carbon fiber by Anderson. It's the Type AZ, which is like the ZL1. Only the scoop is a little more aggressive, a little more room under there. And it's bending across the whole front of the scoop to get mm -hmm. more air under the hood to keep the engine little cooler and that's what he kills horsepower oh yeah well you get that on we'll definitely have to uh, get some photos and things like that it's i'm gorgeous. sure we'll see you out this summer yeah. and uh that'd be a real nice treat to see guys if you haven't seen this car and uh and he's out at one of the meets anywhere whether he's here in Happeny or whether he's a wakarusa ship shawana wherever he goes if you see this car make sure you get a chance to stop and check it out uh these are weld wheels is that right yes. and they're uh Pretty much like a drag, like a drag type wheel, right? Well, they're just a slicker, sweeter design for sure. Yeah, definitely. 
Um, they broke the real good. The ones on the back are the ones that are set up for drag. Mm -hmm. And you have drag radials back here. Right. Now these are, you were telling me earlier that these are a different size that they're offset. These are 17s. 345, 45 M&H drag radials. Nice. Those are 20s. They're within an inch of, of uh, circumference, which uh, doesn't mess up your brakes. Awesome, awesome. So you're really getting a lot of power here. Last time, uh, if I remember correct, you are getting about, what, 850? Yep. Is that correct? Right. So you get a little more now, huh? We have a little more. A little more. Well, a little more than 850. We'll just leave it at that, guys. Uh, I think some of us know some of the numbers, but we'll just leave it at that. So he got a little more than 850 out of it today. We'll keep that one under our hats. What do you think, Melvin? Sounds good. Man, this car is beautiful. And, uh, you know... American flag with the SS. This comes from GT Sport Racing, guys. Uh, he's got the boiler. This is uh, carbon fiber exhaust tips. I don't know if you guys seen those last time. If you guys didn't get in and check out the video from last fall, you definitely want to get in there and check it out because we go for a ride and, uh, man, I'm just telling you, you don't want to miss that clip. Get in there and check it out. We're going to look underneath the hood one more time here. Everybody get in there, give Melvin a big thumbs up and a shout out. A big, big thanks for bringing this thing out. And uh, we really appreciate having him around and being so generous as to share it and come out and tell us all about it and give us this great content and footage this evening. And, uh, you know, it really is a blessing to uh, be fortunate to uh, be, able to be able to share this with everybody. And he's real great for doing that. So really give Melvin a great big thumbs up and a big shout out, guys. Uh, all this stuff. I think he said there's a blow off for the new Pro Charger. Man, there's so much stuff under here, uh, and it's all high tech. I know Lingenfelder's been underneath this hood. Um, let's see, I think it's Indiana, yeah, it says right here, indianamusclecar.com. Uh, I think there's like a whole like intake system that's up here. I'm not sure exactly what all he's got done, but I know he's got some massive fuel rails under here. He's got a Mighty Mouse. I think that's this thing, and that lets pressure blow out of the crank, he was telling me. So he's got a Mighty Mouse in here, and let's see, I think his fuel pumps back there and this is for the uh i don't know the corn fuel what do they call that ethanol yes it is andrew this is an awesome ride jonathan nicely hey, hey yes sir mean and clean hey that guy right there guys keep an eye on him hopefully we'll get him on the show he has a nice ride too don't let him fool you beautiful beautiful car uh guys this has all been professionally built this is a real build you know melvin's not in the garage trying to tinker on this and figure it all out himself he's having professional people uh and engineers really go to work on this this is a great great build of a car this is uh you know it's on a, it's on a level that is par to none other it really is you have to bring your a plus game and then some for this kind of build level that's definitely for sure. Isn't that right, Melvin? They better bring it. That's right. Tell them. Indiana is just handing out gapple sauce. <laughs> Buy the cupfuls. You will get gapped. <laughs> oh, you look like bad teeth. <laughs> Beautiful car, guys. We can't get enough. I'm telling you, I could, I could be out here till after the sun goes down looking at this car, guys. Beautiful. And I mean, it's perfect inside. I don't think it really has a lot of mod, not modifications inside. I think he's left that pretty much stock in there, yeah. but it is, it's beautiful. There's just the way it comes from Chevrolet. They've run a real nice job in there. Nothing really looks cheap or anything like, you know, a lot of the plastic, the older cars is not really like that. All the trim and everything it's up there and uh, Chevy, you know, people, they say it's domestic, whatever, but they bring their A game guys. You see these door panels, everything's tight. He's got the bow sound in here. Look at this, they got him a gauge. Look at this. All digital dash. This car is exceptional, guys. Uh, look at that. that. That is a head unit. This is one of my favorite things in here. And all the trim and all the LEDs, everything. These cars are beautiful, guys, and they are not built cheaply. You know, maybe Chevrolet, they have, you know, sometimes a bad rap for kind of building cheap plastic key parts and stuff. But I'm telling you guys, the detail in this car and the level of the build from Chevrolet itself they've done they really have really brought their game up and really bringing beautiful vehicles just even without modifications from the factory they've done a great job here he said uh, Andrew says he wonder if that would fit in his s10 
Possibly. Yeah. That's got a C frame in it. I don't know about this, but I don't know how much power that little frame would hold. <laughs> you could probably it's weld it up. Yeah, he said it would fit and not break it. Yeah, for okay, sure. Works. Yeah. And here's what I told him, Melvin. I just kind of want to recap a little bit. This is a pressure blow off for the new Pro Charger, correct? Yeah. And then, uh, let's see, that's your fuel pump back there, yeah. right? And that came uh, fuel labs. And that's your corn fuel, what is it, E85? E85. Right? And then you have your uh, Lingenfelder 2 step. And this is your Mickey Mouse, correct, sir? Mighty Mouse. Mighty Mouse. Why do I call it Mickey Mouse? I don't know. Maybe I just like Mighty Mouse. Maybe yes. And that leaves uh, pressure out of the crank. So, like, yeah. if you let off of it, it doesn't build up. Right? right. And, uh, it. right? And, uh, this came from IndianaMuscleCar.com, obviously. And I'm not sure if this is what I like, a uh, head unit, is that they call that, or an intake? It's actually from Pro Charger, but Indiana Muscle Car ordered it, had it powder coated. Oh, I see. Installed it. And you have aftermarket fuel rails on there, too, I see, right? Yeah. 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 Port injection. Awesome. And there's probably a lot more goodies down in there you don't get to see in there. there yes, lots yeah. of internals. American racing headers. Yeah, beautiful. It is built, not just under here. It's all through this car. Absolutely. Melvin, everybody gave you lots of love on here. You go back, you see the comments and everything, and watch it a little bit. Believe me, you got a lot of love and respect, and uh, we really appreciate you bringing it out. Thank you for coming out again, guys. Thank you to Melvin. We really appreciate it. DJ, man, thanks for letting us play out here at O'Reilly. Spread your hand out. It's hard to see. Thank you, man. We appreciate it. Thanks for joining us. See if I can get the camera flip. There we go. All right, guys. That's what we're out here doing today. I'm going to see if uh, I can talk Melvin into taking me for a spin in this. So stay tuned. Uh, we're going to take a trip to Mexico. So if we go for a spin, we'll be south of the border. We won't have to worry about anything. It should be a good trip. But, guys, uh, if we go for a spin, pay attention to in the morning. It'll be up nice and early for everybody to see. But that's what it is, guys. I'm going blind out here. It is so bright. We will see you in the next clip. Keep on trapping.